Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Stories, Episode 61, with Spiff. One day, Boko was at Nafford Station when Whiff pulled up. Oh, Whiff, good, you came right on time. Yep, so Whiff. All right, said so Boko. See these lines of some troublesome trucks? I do, said Whiff. Well, I need you to take them to the docks. All right. Can I do it on this line? No, that line's being occupied right now. You have to do it on this line. Oh, said a whiff. He knew that there were many hills and he could have problems with the trucks. All right, said whiff. I can do it. Great, said Boko. Derek will be at the docks when you get there. Sounds good. And whiff went to switch lines. All right, trucks, said a whiff. Let's do this. And he started to pull away. Bye, Boko, said whiff. Bye, whiff, said Boko. Although Whiff treats the trucks pretty well, the trucks decide they wanted to make Whiff crash. Let's make him crash! Let's make him crash! They said to themselves. As they came out of Gordon Till, their first chance had come. Hold back! Hold back! They cried. Come on, trucks! You're causing me trouble, said a Whiff. There are two short hills the trucks and Whiff were going to pass. This was their chance. All right, let's go fast, they said. Whoa, cried Whiff. The trucks continue on. Whoa. And they went up a third hill. This hill was very dangerous. And Whiff nearly crashed with the trucks. Help, he cried. And he pulled in perfectly. We made it, cried Whiff. Derek pulled up next to Whiff. Good work, said Derek. You got him here right on time. Thanks, said Whiff. They nearly cost, caused me an accident. Uh, can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure, said Whiff. Can you sort the trucks into line? Well, what I mean is, take the caboose and put it in the back. There's going to be another engine coming here later to pick up the trucks. Sounds good, said Whiff. Thanks, said Derek, and Derek left. Whiff soon uncoupled from the trucks. All right, he said. I know you guys tried to misbehave, but I caught you in the act. Don't worry, I won't punish you. Whatever, cried the Chucks, and they started to laugh. Whiff had about had it. You know what, said Whiff? I'm not going to deal with this. So instead of doing the right thing, he backed up and made the trucks crash. Cinders and ashes, cried Whiff. I caused an accident, and he did. Oh no, said Whiff. What should I do? He was contemplating leaving when Murdoch pulled up next to him. Oh, hello, Whiff, said Murdoch. I'm here to collect my train. Uh, oh, your train, yes. Derek was telling me about that. Hold on, uh, let me get it. Whiff knew he needed to find Harvey or Rocky, so he decided to go to the sheds. Rosie, Arthur, and Harvey were at the sheds when Whiff puffed up. Uh, hi, Harvey, said Whiff. Oh, hi, Whiff, said Harvey. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you, too. There's a problem at the docks. Uh, I need your help. Okay, said Harvey, and the turntable soon started to turn so Harvey could get out of the sheds. Harvey and Whiff soon arrived at the docks. Harvey soon looked at the damage and came to a decision. Whiff, said Harvey, the damage is very severe, and with Rocky gone, I'm going to have to do this by myself, and with me doing it by myself, it could take several hours. Like, how many hours? Three or four hours. Three or four hours, said Whiff. But that's my train, said Murdoch. I have a lot of other loads to do today. <sighs> said Whiff. I better go tell Sir Topham Hat. Sir Topham Hat was at Napford Station talking to Boko when Whiff pulled in. Uh, Sir Topham Hatt said Whiff, and he told him the situation. Well, Whiff, I'm very disappointed in you, but at least you've owned up and went to go get Harvey. I'll have to come to the docks and see what I'm going to do with you and Murdoch for the rest of the day. Whiff and Sir Topham Hatt soon arrived at the docks. Sir Topham Hatt got out and spoke to both of them. Well, said Sir Topham Hatt, Murdoch, I know you have a lot of work today, and fortunately, Whiff, you do not have much. Murdoch... You're needed for this train, so you're going to have to wait here. Whiff, I expect that you will finish all of Murdoch's work. Yes, sir, said Whiff. Now, Murdoch, can you tell Whiff your loads? Well, I have to shunt the coaches, the express coaches to be exact, for Gordon. 
And after that, there's going to be some troublesome trucks that you need to get from the quarry. Is that it, said Whiff? Yup, that's it. All right, sounds good, said Whiff. Oh, said Whiff, wait, one more thing. Where do you want me to take the quarry trucks? Uh, to the docks, I believe. All right, sounds good, said Whiff, and he popped away. Whiff quickly collected the express coaches and left them at Napford. Good work, said Boko. You're making up for your mistake. Thanks, said Whiff, and he puffed away. Next, he went to the quarry and picked up all the trucks there. Whiff soon arrived at the docks. Good work, said Sir Topham Hat. You got the trucks here right on time. Thanks, said Whiff. And look at this. Harvey got all the trucks back on the track. Murdoch's leaving right now with all the trucks. That's perfect, said Whiff. Oh, look, here's Arthur to collect the quarry trucks. They all moved out of the way. Thank you, said Arthur, and he puffed away. Sir Topham Hat switched over to the other line. See, said Sir Topham Hat, you made a mistake with, but you were able to fix it. You did all of Murdoch's load, and he got him done probably quicker than even he would have. Thanks for that. You're welcome, said Whiff. I promise not to do that again. Good, said Sir Topham Hatt. We don't need you to biff any more trucks. And they both laughed.